So, if you haven't noticed, I haven't been posting a lot of videos this spring in my own lawn, and there is a reason for that, guys. I no longer live in my house where I have my lawn, so DIY Dad will no longer be making lawn videos in my own lawn. However, I have a couple of plans for some project lawns later this summer. I got a couple of friends in the area that I think are going to need a renovation, so that is my plan. I think I'm going to be doing a couple of guest lawns on the channel. I'm also going to be doing a lot of other auto-related tasks like auto detailing and things like that and a lot of other random things around the house so a couple of things changing my life lately guys uh nothing i could do about it however we are moving on we're being happy we're living our life to the fullest enjoying nature you know sometimes you just got to get out here and unwind what is this someone threw away a mattress or something People leaving garbage everywhere, even in the middle of nowhere. A lot of logging around here. This is a lot of farmed pine trees here. So these were all planted years and years ago. Here's a little baby pine tree right there. It'll grow up to be one of these someday. So there's a lot of logging operations that go on up in this northern Wisconsin forest. So yeah, uh... Thanks for joining me on a weekend out. Gonna meet up with a Facebook group later tomorrow. We're going to be going on a Sasquatch hunt. Mostly just off-roading on roads like this in our Subarus. Should be a good time. So if you're a Subaru enthusiast, hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Let me know what kind of vehicle you have. If you ever do anything crazy like this, take it off the beaten path once in a while. Guys, it's a lot of fun. It's nice to just avoid people, get out here, and just enjoy God's green earth. It's, it's gorgeous out Sometimes here. it's just good to get a little bit of fresh air and sleep outside. So this is my campsite here. Pretty much the only person out here, other than me and the mosquitoes. But guys, I just wanted to bring this video to you to let you know that my channel's not going away. Just a little bit of more variable content, I guess, is what you can come to expect. So, things like this, just me blogging, possibly. I don't know. I don't do this very often, but... You know, it's uh, something new that I'm going to try, and I just wanted to reach out to all my subscribers and let you know that I'm not going away. I'm just going to be seeing a little bit more varied content, I think, so... Yeah, this is my hangout spot for the evening. It's uh, quite nice, in fact. I've got a little lake right here. Once the sun goes down, that's going to be gorgeous, I bet. But yeah, you can see this is uh, not the most remote area, but you know, people do come through here and cut down logs and things like that, so a little bit of forestry operations going on here, but... It is a nice secluded area. I haven't seen a soul in probably six hours. It's great. So guys, I'm going to be coming back in the morning, showing you a little bit of adventure. Look at this. I found someone's disposed vape pen here. You know, it just goes to show no matter where you are in the world, people will just leave their crap everywhere. I always keep a plastic bag on me whenever I'm in the woods and I just pick up this crap because you know what? There's no sense in leaving this laying around. Nature's not gonna dispose of it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. It's called leave no trace principles, guys. Even if you don't make a mess, leave it cleaner than when you got here. Jason G, this is for you, buddy. Always mowing with your shoes off. Check out his channel, I'll leave a link in the description. Jason G, shout out to you, buddy. And, of course, this wouldn't be DIY dead without telling you how to build a proper fire now, would it? So, you want to build it in a TP formation. I've got everything kind of scattered about here. But when you add additional wood to the fire, or if you want to build a fire, put all your kindling and everything at the, at the base. And then build up 
smaller sticks and then bigger sticks in a teepee shape. So I kind of stack those this direction. I'm going to stack this one that direction, just like that. And as everything kind of builds together into a teepee shape, your fire will grow from the bottom up and burn in a nice, neat, contained area. meetup is oh yeah underway now at the Subaru gang we got two cross treks in front of me got a forester behind me and one out back about to hit the trails it's pretty dry out here and very dusty so I don't anticipate seeing a lot of mud but once we get into the deep woods I guess we'll be seeing turning off onto our first dirt road for this outing here Like I said, dusty, I can't see much. Just gotta keep a good, safe following distance. Gonna have to change my air filter after this. Looks like we're turning off again. So far, so good. Another off-roading tip, I aired down my tires down to about 25 PSI. It just helps a little bit with the uh, rolling over the bumps a little bit easier kind of softens it up a little bit so that's definitely a good idea it's definitely soft in here this dirt so just go slow take it easy watch for a good line oh, this is a gnarly bit this is known as the pipeline guys this is actually a very pipeline on this under this road here man these vehicles they're capable if you take your time Spotters are important. Go forward. <laughs> this guy on the dirt bike really wants to rip it. Alright, everybody's through. Unstoppable. Have to say, I'm pretty impressed. I got my scan gauge down there to monitor uh, temperatures on everything, so highly recommend that. Make sure you're not overheating anything, that's the most important part. I got one little nasty scrape on my rear bumper. There's a little plastic uh, clip that came loose, so I'm gonna have to fix that. Should just pop right in, but not too concerned. Man, up here it's sand. Down there, it's rock and mud. It's crazy. Hey, not bad for my first real off-roading attempt in a Subaru Forester. I'll take it. Granted, I don't know if I'd hit all those rocks again, but this little soft sandy trail ain't so bad.
Be sure to subscribe, guys, if you like this. Give it a thumbs up. Just a stick. This is a fun trail, a little bumpy, but no big rocks I gotta worry about yet. Much more comfortable, less white knuckle driving. Big stack of logs, isn't it? Big logging operation. This must be where they film post-apocalyptic videos where everything's all dead. Crazy, isn't it? No forest here, it's just all cleared out. There's little stumps of trees left over, that's all that remains. A lot of new growth though. Looks like it was all burned out at some point. Oh, that was a really fun weekend. No worse for wear, hopefully. A little bit of mud. Gonna take the pressure washer to this and really get it cleaned up. Look at that. Awesome time. Those guys that I was with were really cool. So I had a great time. Got a little muddy. The only thing we had an oopsie with was this right here. So went a little too fast over a rock and popped out this little bracket here so hopefully that will go back in place and then that came with it but it looks like it's just a plastic clip hopefully you pop that right back in we'll be back in business in no time so guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up be sure to subscribe and if you like content like this leave a comment below let me know until next time thanks for watching quick easy fix popped right back in